Right guys, so today we're reviewing a set of target darts and it's the Phil Taylor's, the Gen 9's, these are 26 gram steel tip or Swiss points. i uh, just like to thank target darts for sending these out to me to review on their behalf, so thank you very much to them. So without waiting any further, let's check out the packaging, check out these darts and have a few throws at the board. Okay, having a quick look at the packaging, you see it's got Swiss point up the top there, as, as well as 95% tungsten. He's nicknamed the power, got a little signature there. Graphic image of the man himself, he's a Target Dart logo just at the bottom. Power 9 to 5 with Generation 9, steel tip, 26 grams, 95% tungsten, match weighted to 0 0.05. Let's open up so you can get a graphic image of the, the dart itself. So you can see it's got that nano grip on the points, the flights, just a close up of the dart itself on the back. Again, you've got another image of the dart. You've got your Swiss point tool. So what's in the box is three power nine five G nine ninety five percent barrels, uh, three power G nine shafts, three pro ultra flights, three Swiss nano silver twenty six millimeter points, plus one Swiss point tool. And you've got a lifetime guarantee with the barrels themselves. And you've got the target dart logo there. So let's take a closer look what you get inside. And again from Target, it comes in the foam packaging, you've got your little insert sleeve there and it tells you it's 26.1 grams per barrel. It also mentions the lifetime guarantee. So you've got your three darts fully set up and you've got your Swiss point tool down the bottom. So let's have a closer look at the dart itself. Okay, having a quick look at the dart itself, it's got a 26mm nano grip point. It's got this long nose section here. Now the whole barrel's got the CNC milling. Uh, throughout the barrel itself also has this chrome nano grip just at the base section here then it moves into this combination of machine milled ring cuts just in this section and at the rear you've got this unique design which features a rounded square grip which is creating using high precision milling machine then you've got the G9 stems just at the back you see just so it can split it so you can see where the barrel ends and the stem st starts it's got that same design on the back of the barrel so the length of the barrel is 42 millimeters and the width is 7.85 millimeters so this will be your thickest part just in this ring section here okay so with the darts in hand uh, i'm not using the flights that come with it because they're far too small for me to throw and I want to be able to show you that I can actually throw these darts because that there, I don't know if you can see that, uh, is absolutely tiny compared to that flight and I'm just no chance me ever throwing them. So I've got a set of target darts, flights on them. So hopefully I can throw these. The grip level on this, that front of the nano grip to it is different got Good comfortable grip, you've got that radio uh, machine cut in the middle, uh, definite grip there. And surprisingly, I, I didn't think there would be any form of grip at all on that back section, the, the rounded square section, but I think it's because it's been uh, CNC milled and it's been sandblasted as well with the PVD coating. Uh, it's got that slight texture grip to it. So front and middle, I say, well, I say the middle a three, the front that nano grip, um, probably a three as well to be honest. And I'll give two and a half at that back sit, back bit where it tapers down. Uh, it's just it's not as grippy, so I'm going to try and hold somewhere in that middle section so I can try and get some of that grip off that ring cut. Um, let's see how we get on. Right, I'll shut up. You just want to see the darts. Let's go. I need to remember the 26. Oh, still with an 85. Um, a little bit heavy for me because the 26, they feel really nice. I think I'd put a longer stem on the bat because it's a short stem with these. I think the balance is not right, just the way it's set up. But apart from that, it feels comfortable in the hand, it's releasing well. I thought it'd slip at the back, but it's not. But anyway, shut up, let's go.
those nano points really help sticking the board as well. Oof. <laughs> 123. Not too bad. Again, it's just me getting used to that weight. Um, also, I need to keep reminding myself it's 26, so give that a little bit more extra push. Not a 60. Steady, 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 60. Back to normality, 45. But I do notice that nose section, the, the crow nose, really sticks out in that board. And that light hits it. Not too high. And 100. Right. I'll leave it at that, let's do a little summary. Okay, so the target darts, the Phil Taylor's Generation 9 or G9 26 gram steel tip with the nano Swiss points, which are absolutely fantastic by the way. Really gripped into that board and stuck onto it. Plus it also complements the nose with that chrome nano grip on the nose as well. Also I didn't use them with those flights because if I did, I'd end up just falling off the board because it just slaps in. Uh, how you use them, I have no idea. And I thought it was best to use standard flights so you can actually see how they go in. But apart from that, really comfortable grip to them. Uh, I thought it was going to have a little bit of slippage, but I think the PVD um, sandblast and that grip design on it um, complements and it just stuck to your fingers, just comfortable, it didn't stick stick. Um, but you definitely got some form of grip on the back as well. Now the cost of these is about £95. Yes, it's up there with the price. Uh, I think people purchasing these will probably use, uh, collect them then use them. Because obviously this is the Generation 9. If you've got the other 8, you definitely want this to go with your collection as well. £95 is up there with the price. But again, it's 16 time World Champion Phil Taylor's darts. And if you've got one of eight, you obviously want to get the Gen 9s to go with it as well. I'll leave a link to the Tag Darts website in the description box below. So do click on that. Do check out the other recent releases from Target Darts as well. There's some good stuff out there, um, good darts. So do check them out. Again, I'd like to thank Target Darts for sending these out to me to review on their behalf. So thank you very much to Target Darts. And that's it from me, guys. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Turn your notifications for any new reviews and live streams and catch you in the next one. Happy darting guys. Bye.